Welcome back to Worthington Model Railway. Um, today I'm going to look at these Monsell uh, GBLs, uh, gangway brake luggage fans uh, that run on Southern. Hornby uh, brought out a new version of it, which is what I'm holding right now. And in the background there, you'll see the old version that actually was a Triang model that went back to 1964. Hasn't really been changed very much. Look a little bit of the history. Um, We'll look at the Triang models, and then we'll uh, look at these superb new versions from Hornby. So I pulled out the uh, edition 15 of the uh, Triang Hornby catalog. And uh, this is this is showing the utility van, the old Triang one. So this edition is 1969. Is showing you. So this is 1969. It's showing the utility van with 12 opening doors and uh, a blue livery, um, R226. And uh, if I go to the following year, 1970, we see it. And a slightly different blue livery, still R226, but which are the, with a dark gray roof. So looking here in Pat Hammond's book, uh, he's got a, the green version and the two blue versions, one with a, a light gray roof and also the darker blue. And uh, he talks a little bit about uh, these different versions. Um, basically that green R226 came out in 1964 and reappeared in 1967 um, and then it disappeared and it came back in the 1990s and then that uh, R226 came in both uh, electric blue and rail blue the rail blue was the one that had the the much darker roof on it so uh, let's have a look at these models so grabbing the actual models um, this is the blue one. This one is the uh, the Southern Region Utility Van R226. So this is the one from the late 60s, early 70s. Um, as you'll see, you know it it was quite nicely detailed for its time. I mean, it, it does have a, a few issues, and it's interesting to notice how that plastic is has faded particularly the left hand doors um they're slightly different color today um and you know the roof detail was nice on it uh the thing that i loved years ago was the fact that these doors open up and from a you know kid point of view that was great i remember putting luggage in these vans and closing the doors up and maybe watching them run around with the doors open um and actually quite a nice model with quite a lot of detail um and you know this has been around for a, a long time i mean uh, so it goes back to the early 60s um the green version i have is a 19 so the green version that I have is the 1990s one, but also interesting again, you'll notice that the plastic on the doors has kind of aged a little differently. And uh, you can see there that sort of slightly different green color. Uh, again, this one had the opening doors, which were a lot of fun uh, years ago, although it does have that big post right through the middle there. Um, because the doors have to close the right way because they have a little catch on them. Uh, but, you know, it was a lot of detail on the model for the time. And, uh, you know, I, I have fun running these. I still, today, run these on my southern region with my southern region Monsell uh, coaches. When uh, I've, I've got a rake of them, I like to put one of these on. So, uh, fun, fun, fun. Okay. So let's have a look at the new stuff. So pulling out the new model, obviously uh, much 
much finer detail and it it also maybe I can show this by putting them side by side but uh, the size is to scale see how wide the old one is in comparison to the new one um, and from a length point of view the old one from a length point of view the old one was a scale length that was just just kind of too wide um, you know. but, and the roof detail not significantly different um, you know it, it's this one is a little a little rougher but the, obviously the roof detail on the, the new one is the roof detail on the new one is really nice um, and you know the the printing is superb as always with this right and a lot of a lot of added detail a lot of more detail to the bogey and uh the correct steel wheels although having said that now this is uh this is the later version right this is the crimson british rail version we'll look at the other one in a minute uh the older version which is in southern rail would have had a wooden center wheel um up until about 1948-49. Um, now on the end of this, uh, it's also, I don't know if we can get that in focus, but yeah, I have a difficulty here. On the end there, you'll see there's also a plate, which, uh, you know, I can read with the naked eye. Let me, uh, let me try moving this a little bit, to see if we can, we can read that with the camera come on focus there we go you can see super, that's really nicely printed and and the door detail is is really nice it's a wooden door there um, also has the sprung buffers which work nicely i think there's a lot of really nice detail on these now the other thing about this model as well is if you look at the windows here during the Second World War, a lot of these were put into service, I think about 30 of them, as ambulances. And they added the windows in the middle doors. In a minute, we'll look at the earlier model, and you'll see that it doesn't have the windows. So, as I say, on the Southern Railway's olive green, um, there's no windows in the middle. That was how the doors were originally. Uh, I also said, you know, the, the wheels are not quite right for the date on this. Um, but that's fine. I mean, you know, hey, we can't have everything. But the detail is basically the same apart from those doors. Obviously, the roof color is different, um, but the roof detail is, is, the, is the same. Um, I'll put the two of them side by side. There we go. So you, you can see there the only major difference is those center doors. Um, the rest of the model, pretty much identical. Just uh, one's crimson, one's green. Okay, so let's go get the uh, Winston Churchill hearse out and we can look at that. So this is accurate as the Sir Winston Churchill hearse was painted in um, in the Pullman colors and it was the, these things were taken out of service around about 1959 1960 but this one was stored away um, and painted specifically to be used for this purpose and it was used as part of the funeral train um, the uh, delivery on here is quite nice I mean it's a obviously a little more difficult to to paint than the other ones um, but it's it's very accurate and again you know it was one of those ones that was converted uh, to an ambulance during the second world war and so has the windows in the the middle doors here this is one that was converted to an ambulance during the second world war so it has those middle doors there's a lot of detail on the undercarriage on these i mean it uh, Hornby have done a really superb job with these. Um, so, you know, this one is a bit of a specialist thing, right? Um, it's not going to be run every day, but it's it's fun to have and to have in the collection. 
Won't be produced uh, two running numbers. They're basically identical, but uh, the two running numbers. And and sometimes on the the big boat trains, um, they may actually have sometimes had more than one of these because of the amount of luggage. So it, it's nice to be able to have an extra one to run in a rake. Um, as I say, they they're just they're pretty much identical um, just different running numbers that's those and uh, there's the Winston Churchill one in the middle too and just to totally show it off let's put the uh, the original Tryon one in there too you can see the difference. Well, thanks for watching. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe. And uh, you'll see a subscribe button to the top right and a like button to the top left.